Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here just checking into the energy seeing what's going on around you. Honestly I'm picking up on you're about to have like a flood of new ideas like grab a notebook and a pen okay you're about to be writing down some new ideas collective yeah they're coming to you like crazy um yeah uh and it's gonna be a money maker these are money making ideas new projects that you may be starting okay just a channeled message here um it feels very enthusiastic exciting okay <laughs> Anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm leaving this out. These are good ideas that you're going to be having. Um, yeah, write them down. Write them down. Set some goals, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, thank you, everyone. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for clicking that like button, you guys. It's, it's helping with the algorithms out here on YouTube. Thank you so much. And... Um, from all of your favorite readers, thank you for hitting that like button and joining this awesome soul, this awesome soul family out here. Um, yeah, someone else is having a very difficult time, though. You know, I'm also getting that somebody could be trying to contact you and you're not listening to them. OK, you're standing your ground. You've got your boundaries up. You're holding your head up high and you're not you're not bending, you're not breaking. Um they're they're kind of bent out of shape over this. They're very burdened over this. It's like, oh, I've sent the collective so many messages. You know, honestly, if you have this person blocked, you may not even notice that they're sending you messages. Um when I have somebody blocked on my phone, I don't get their text messages. I don't even I don't even get their phone calls. Yeah, somebody's in a lot of regret here. Uh, they're missing you collective. They're really sick that they turn their back on their true soulmate. This person's I feel like they've been trying to apologize to you, but you're not you're not paying any attention to them. Okay. You're not giving any of their um, communication any any of your attention. Yeah, look, they miss you. Oh, do they miss you? You know, um, if you are able to get a voicemail from this person, they're going to be telling you, like, I, I, I can't stop thinking about when we were together. I can't stop thinking about you and um, all the times that we've shared. You know, you remember when we when we met this person could also be um talking to you when they're drunk trying to call you when they're drunk a lot of drunk phone calls i don't know why i'm picking up on that because they they kind of want to go on and on and on about all the happy times you've shared <laughs> it feels like this person is drunk calling you or they might okay they might drunk call you they're going to sabotage themselves that way Okay, because you're going to be moving on. You're like, I don't want I don't want anybody who's drinking and being all emotional over the phone. I don't want this. I don't want to start any more fights. Uh, maybe when this person drinks, they fight with you a lot or they get very confrontational. I feel like you're closing the door on that. You want peace. You want to focus on things that you can nurture into a success. You know, you're, you're busy here, too, with the Queen of Pentacles. You've got a lot to take care of. You're working on your finances, your family, your home. You could be a single mother here, maybe. You know, and you got a lot going on. You could even, um, you could have your own platform, your own business online somewhere, okay, that you're trying to take care of. You're responsible. You're dedicated. You're... Um, You've, you handle your own business, and the last thing you need is somebody calling you over and over and over again with drunk communication, trying to cause chaos in your life, okay? I really feel like this person's going to start calling you drunk, and you're gonna, you're, you just don't want to deal with that. You're not about that. You're, um, you're at a much higher level than this person is also. 
this person may want to come and uh, give you some kind of gift as well. They may drop a, a gift off at your door. They're trying to do whatever they can to get back in. Um, and it feels like manipulation. Like maybe if they were to bring you a gift or a letter or some kind of invitation or something somewhere, that it would, it would make you talk to them. Okay? Um, I feel like they're just really doing all that they can to try to get you to talk to them. And you're not. This is coming out in reverse. They don't want this to come to an end. See how they're tapping on this blade? Why won't the collective talk to me? Why won't they talk to me? If they can't get you to talk to them, they're going to be broken hearted. Okay, this person will be impaled on these three swords. Yeah, because they'll realize they're not going to be able to get back together with you and they're going to be missing their opportunity with you. Um, so, yeah, they're going to be doing all that they can. I feel like this person's already doing all that they can, okay? But, yeah, a whole lot of drinking. I, this person, they drink a lot, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're getting some drunk calls from them, and you're like, man, nah. Yeah, they want their wish fulfillment, though. They want you back. They see you. I feel like this person actually puts you up on a pedestal. They can't accept that it's over. They can't accept that you're stepping out of their life for good. Okay? Um, they're, they're drinking. They're drinking more and more and more. Um, obsessed with trying to get you to talk to them, and you're not. Yeah, you're focused, man. You're everything to this person. They they do definitely put you up on a pedestal. You're the real treasure. You're the only one with, with that they want. But the the fact of the matter is is this person isn't even sober. Okay? They're not even sober. And I feel like at one point, you know, they put you out in the cold. They can't control their drinking. This person could drink every night, and whenever they're drinking, they seem to contact you. There could be a night coming up where the, or a day coming up where this person tries to reach you all day, all night, into the night. Like, constantly trying to call you, and you just um, you ignore their calls. Yeah, they're feeling like an absolute fool. They don't know what to do to get you to pay attention to them. Uh, they're going to get you some kind of gift in the hopes that um, that you will contact them. This could be like having flowers delivered to your home or a package or... Yeah, they're having this crashing tower moment, um, realizing all that they lost here, realizing they're not getting you back. They're not getting you back no matter what they try. I feel like... Um, it's not going to happen for them. They're feeling like an absolute fool for the choices that they made. This person may even be angry, upset. Like, why? They're going to get to the point where, why aren't you answering my calls, right? They're going to be like starting to yell at you in these voicemail messages or whatever it is. Okay. Yep. And you're still silent. I'm telling you, you're not going to, you're not going to buy into that. You're not playing into their hands. You're just not. Um, they are very relentless, though. I have to say, this person does not want to quit. They do not want to quit. But this is you not talking to them, okay? This is you not paying attention to them, no matter how drunk they get, no matter how angry they get. Um, you not answering them is going to... I mean, and I feel like... At this point, when they reach the Knight of Swords energy, this person is angry, okay? Um, so they may even, like, start insulting. Um, they're they're going to start acting like a kid who isn't getting their way. They're going to be mad. And you're still not going to be paying attention to them. Mm-mm. No, you're going to be standing in Empress energy um, not talking to this person, being absolutely silent. The silence is driving them crazy. Uh, but you know that you're an empress and you know you're deserving of 
uh, better than a page and a knight, okay? This person can't even get their drinking out of uh, under control. It's it's out of control. Sorry. They cannot get their drinking under control. Yeah, see, I'm getting the sense that this person is like keeping you up all night. I'm I'm with their phone calls. Um I'm also feeling like they're going to say some things um, to you that, uh, you know, it may bother you at night. I feel like you're going to be more um, annoyed by this person than you are upset. But you may have to tell them, you know, just stop calling me. It's over. You may have to tell this person the truth. Just I don't want to deal with you anymore because I don't think this person's going to stop trying. Okay. And when you do tell them the truth, then then they'll it'll be over. Okay, it'll be over for them. I feel like you're going to reach a point where this person just is like they're calling you at all hours of the night drunk. Um, uh, one minute they're telling you sweet things about how they miss you. The next minute they're yelling at you in the phone. Why aren't you talking to me? You know, you you may actually just say enough is enough. Please leave me alone. We're done and we're not getting back together. I can see you doing something like that. And at that point, your person knows they're defeated. Okay. Whoever this is, they're going to be calling you drunk. <laughs> um, annoying the crap out of you in the middle of the night. All right. Um, let's see how they're feeling. <laughs> You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Virgo. Um, heavy Leo energy. Taurus, Aries. Your person, um, they could be an Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Virgo. Yeah, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, Heavy Pisces. All right, what else can you show me here? How is this person going to be feeling frustrated? They're very frustrated. Did I not say that? <laughs> because um, they're blocked, okay? They're prevented from talking to you, from coming towards you. You're not speaking to them. This person is really... Um, yeah, and it, I feel like you're getting irritated. They're they could be irritated, aggravated, annoyed, um, frustrated, okay? They want you to be compassionate. They want you to talk to them, open up to them, be caring to them, and you're not. You're just not. <laughs> um, yeah, they're hopeful. See, this is them, all of these messages that they've sent you text messages phone calls okay they want to hear back from you they want you to open up and allow them to talk to you or um, talk to them somehow right yeah but you're not doing it it's making this person feel very vulnerable all up in their emotions okay feeling defeated or they know that that's uh, looming over them right They're very emotional right now. They just don't know what to do. It's almost like they're caught in some emotional cyclone. Yeah, they just don't know what to do. They don't know what steps to take. This person, they send you messages and they'll sit forever looking at the clock, waiting for you to answer. This is like look, looking at the phone, right? Waiting for you to give them a call back or something. Completely trapped in their head about this. Why aren't you answering my calls? Why aren't you picking up the phone? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to figure out another way to reach you. So I feel like that's what this is. Bringing you a gift. They may even send you a letter or some kind of invitation something like that this is them um being inspired to try something new because you are in fact not answering any of their calls okay so be looking for a letter a package 
maybe even some flowers sent to your door okay something's going to be delivered to you i feel because uh that other than that they're powerless they're powerless they've got to get you to talk if they don't if they can't get you to talk it's going to be over okay yeah let's see what they want to say what does this person want to say to my collective I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. You're saying we need to let each other go. Ha ha ha. I feel like that's you. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you, they say. I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart to love again. Kind of feeling like that. That could be your energy. It could be their energy. Take that one however it resonates with you. You are the one and only. I don't understand what this connection really is. They're so obsessed. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. Yeah, they miss you. I hide my true desires for you. Things move so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. Our connection is complicated. There are issues out of our control. I feel like it's their drinking that's out of control. I hope the future will bring us together. The universe is fighting for our souls to be together. The thought of you drives me crazy. Yeah, I fell in love the moment I saw you. I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. Yeah, this person... Um, I feel like they are trying to contact you. I feel like you're about to get some kind of delivery at your home from them. Some kind of surprise present, flowers, a letter, something. But um, yeah, they're, I feel like they're a, a bit panicked. If they don't get you to talk to them, this connection is going to be over and nullified. Okay? Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, if you like this video, click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome family we've got going on here. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.